Let's get this done. Yeah. You're on poker session. It is pretty pathetic. Yeah, that was caller, that, that was really like an F. You, you failed. Let's let's give this next caller a try. 414, you're on poker session. Hey, guys. How's it going? Good. How you doing? I'm doing okay. I wasn't expecting to get in so quick, but um, thanks for answering. That's what she said. Oh, um, yeah, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> uh, 414, what's your um, question? Uh, well, this has been really interesting, and I really like watching, so I'll just start with that. Um, Thank you. I, uh, I guess what you guys have been talking about with tournament play kind of strikes home for me right now. Um, I live near Chicago, and I'm considering like going to the Chicago Classic and playing some of those tournaments because there's a lot of um, a lot of affordable tournaments, and I don't have like uh -huh. a ton of money. Right. I don't have a ton of money, but um, this is something that like I can kind of afford, and I thought maybe I could take a crack at, but. Um, after, I guess, kind of after listening to you guys, um, I guess maybe I'm, like, second-guessing myself, sort of, and um, I guess I'm just, I don't know, like, I struggle with trying to figure out, like, what the right approach is for me to kind of, I don't know, get, kind of get my footing into poker. I've been, right. I don't know, I've been, like, struggling for a while, and I've been trying, and I've been reading, and I've been learning, and trying to watch, and trying to learn and stuff. I'm just, and now, I thought the Chicago Poker Classic would be, like, a cool way to maybe break a little ground, but now I'm just, I don't know, I don't know, like, what the right approach is, so. What do you think, Jack? What do you think? What do you, what's your prescription? <laughs> hey, Do Dr. Moscow, what's your prescription for this guy? Right. Well, I mean, I think you mentioned you thought you might want to take a shot at it. I don't know if that was the word you used. I should have paid better attention, and it's, I mean, essentially what it would be, be is taking a shot, so anybody can can enter a tournament and run pure and win, and that's nice, and you get money, but um, take the money to one, too. Go sit down in a cash game. For me. Now, ja but let me ask you something, Jacqueline. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you think that one, two is a viable entry point, considering the rake? Oh, it totally depends on the casino. I mean, there's definitely one, twos in South Florida that are beatable for... I don't know how much, but <laughs> not, and, not very many big. Like 15 but, bucks an hour or something, but it's an entry point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I mean, okay, here, another, I, I usually don't give, give away, like, strategic stuff, but, um, like, one way I, I got myself, like, introduced to poker and became a, re a confident player pretty fast was just by putting in hands. Like, I put in, like, half a million hands at two cent, four cent, where I, I, it wasn't for, like, the money. I was basically, like, making a little bit of money, but I was getting a fuckload of hands. Right. And so, I don't know what's like if you, you know, want to mess around on Bavada, card and poker, or I shouldn't be plugging any of these people because they don't pay me, or America's <laughs> card room, but um, those are all places you can kind of get some hand experience. Online games are a lot tougher, so they will kind of put you in your place that being said, there's people giving away money at one too. They're punting their stacks. They're like right. they want you to have their money. Right. So there's a lot of bad resources out there about poker. Right. I was lucky early on that I met people that were able to sort of guide me towards the good resources and um tell me and tell me that I had to put in a lot of hands. I mean, there's no shortcut around that. Uh, like experience is pretty paramount. Let, 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 tell me if you agree with this, Jacqueline. And this is for you, caller four one four. Listen to me. Okay. If you're if you're like if you don't have a bankroll at all, uh, and and you somehow and you just want to luck box a bankroll, or your hourly rate, in, or you're playing one two like Jacqueline uh, suggested, and your hourly rate is eight to ten dollars an hour, which you know it may very well be even if you're one of the better players in that player pool. Um, sure. Yeah. It's not. I'm... You can do the math. On like a three hundred and sixty dollar buy-in tournament, if you're one of the better players in that player pool, and let's say your ROI is something crazy, like one hundred and fifty percent, which is just a crazy, insanely high. Yeah, that's, that's like an insane ROI. It's an okay. insane, but I'm just just for <laughs> argument's sake, 
if your ROI is 150% in a 360, then you know that every time you play that tournament, you're going to make, uh, what, uh, $445 or something? Yeah, you're going to make 445 Sklansky bucks, but yes. you can't cash those in in the real world. Exactly. So. <laughs> but, I mean, uh, this is what I'm saying, Jacqueline, to this particular guy. Uh, right. You're going to be in that tournament on an average something like eight hours, and if, you're, if your hourly rate in the 1-2 game is, is, is 10 bucks an hour, 20 bucks an hour if you're like a fucking world beater, then your hourly rate in that document is actually going to be higher than your hourly rate would be in the cash game. That Now, and, and you have the side benefit, the ancillary benefit of possibly winning a bankroll. So if, if you're like one of those guys... It does. It actually does make sense for you to play in a document. But if you're, a, it might. It might. I'm, I it will might. give you that. These like small buy-in tournaments. The player pool is obviously a lot, a lot softer than right. than these big events. But here's the problem: like all the variance and everything right. that matters, it happens at the end. Right. <laughs> and all, and you know, the more of the poker skill and the playing the deep stack and all of that, that happens in the beginning when the the blinds are right. So low, like relative to but, your stack. That but like, ja Jacqueline, what I'm telling this guy is, and, 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 and <laughs> you're he, telling him to take the shot. You're telling no, him to take the shot. I know. He might, he might get the bankroll. I think we're he might talking. Get, he, he might get lucky and might get the right. bankroll. You know. But, I mean, we're talking sort of about two different things. In that, he variance doesn't matter to this guy. This guy's tapo. He has. He doesn't have anything. He's. You know. He's. He, he's just starting out. So there's sure. no. There's no variance for him. The variance right. is for somebody who... Well, is, if there's no variance for him, then there's no ROI yeah. really for him either. Well, I the, mean... The variance the variance comes for the the, pa the backpack crew. The guys who think... <laughs> it comes for the guys who think that they're he actually still, making like, a living. If, if, let's, okay, so let, what's your name again, sir? I'm sorry. Uh, what did I'm, you I'm say? Michael. Call her? Michael, Michael. Michael. Okay, Michael. Let's say Michael final tables this event. And Michael, you know... Somehow he has this huge stack, and, he, and and someone hasn't right. covered though, and and it gets down to heads up. I right. mean, the amount of like equity that they're flipping for—that's when the variance does matter because right. like you're gonna run good or you're gonna run bad, and you're gonna run good or run bad at the very end when the money payouts are like structured right. absurdly. Well, no, so, I mean we we all agree that it's a circle jerk. We all agree that it's a clusterfuck. We all agree on that. Right. What I'm trying to say is. If you if you fashion yourself, if you fashion yourself as a professional poker player, tournaments there's you can not give me any fucking scenario other than getting staked in 100k tournaments, other than getting staked in 100k tournaments or only playing 10k's that are in your specific town so you don't have room, food, and beverage, and you can't and if you're a prof, if you fashion yourself as a professional poker player, there is basically no scenario where playing tournaments is better than playing cash. But if you're not... There's there, none, none. None. There's none. But if you are a, not a professional poker player, if you're just right. a dude starting out with no role, you you might as well do it. I mean, it makes no fucking difference. It's, it sucks for me and Jacqueline. I'll give you that. I'll, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. It, it, because we <laughs> want you in our cash game, but... <laughs> The thing about poker sesh is that I'm always honest, and if you're telling me the truth that you have no role and you don't know where to go, then playing in a 365 at the Chicago Poker Classic, whatever the fuck that is, uh, playing, <laughs> playing in a 365 at the Chicago Poker Classic might be the, your best bet, you know? I mean, it just might be. But this is what I want you to understand, and this is what Jacqueline wants you to understand, I assume. If you do bink the thing, if you bink it, stop forever. Never go back. Forever. Forever. Never fucking go back. Get like, ever. Don't ever go. Don't buy a backpack. Don't start eating sushi <laughs> for every meal. Don't fucking wear flip flops to the casino and designer jeans. Don't. Come oh my god! Don't make me look at your feet, please. Yeah. Don't come yeah. to the. Don't, solid advice. Yeah. Don't come to the casino with your fucking bros. Um. Don't. Don't fucking buy. Like this is what I hate the most. These motherfuckers. They, all of them, they all get on some, like, meal plan. This is what wannabe poker players do. Then, don't, do not get on a meal plan and have, like, no meal 
and have like a little stack of meals in Tupperware containers that you take out of your fucking backpack in my poker game. <laughs> you fucking take food out of a Tupperware co fucking container in my poker game. I'm going to murder you. Don't do it. Like that. <laughs> I mean, I couldn't, I couldn't agree more without, I mean, I might not be yelling and expressing myself, Thank you. but I couldn't, I couldn't agree more. I got riled up, Jacqueline. I'm very sorry. Fuck these fucking so, so, ta fuck. so take the shot, it sounds yeah, like. Thank you, thank you. you. Could, I mean, again, I, I'm not, I don't want to give you bad advice. I don't know anything about, you know, your, your profession or your income or, or how many other shots you might be able to take or anything like right. that, so.